there are lots of update in front-end web development space past year. And in this video, I'm going to share my top 5 picks for visual effect libraries that every front-end developer might want to keep an eye on in 2026 to stay relevant. Let's check it out. Anime.js is a lightweight, powerful animation engine that handles everything from CSS properties to SVG paths, physics and JavaScript objects. Anime.js has been there for a while, but I'm bringing it up again because last year, there was a massive V4 upgrade that modernized the library with a modular architecture and a new physics-based animation system that rivals more complex libraries. With the modular architecture upgrade, you only import the specific functions you need. If you only need to move a box, your users don't download the code for SVG morphing, so it makes the size incredibly small. A new spring system also let you easily simulate real-world physics such as mass, stiffness and damping. So if you're looking for a lightweight JavaScript libraries yet powerful to animate complex sequencing in 2026, then make sure to check out Anime.js. I always like React page transition on website. It's smooth and fast. But what about non-React website? Especially in 2026 where user experience are king. Most branding creative agencies want to eliminate that ugly white flash browser refresh when clicking links. Barber.js is a library to help you for that. It auto prefetches the next page and creates fluid transitions between website pages and turns a standard multi-page website into a single page application experience. All that, without the complexity of React or Vue. So in a way, Barber.js is more like a JavaScript router than a simple transition effect libraries. But don't worry, it's very easy to set up and use. But the main reason why I'm talking about Barber.js in 2026 is that the Vue Transitions API are finally becoming native to Chrome and Safari. So you can expect more and more websites will start adding simple cross-page transition. Still, it's only allow a simple customization and older browsers are still unsupported. So if you're looking for a reliable yet powerful way to make standard websites feel like native apps, then Barber.js is the one for you. I, I made several tutorials video about 3.js in the past, but why we should focus about it again in 2026? Because the standard of 3D rendering on website is shifting from WebGL2 to WebGPU. It completely changed how browsers talk to the graphics card. From basing on OpenGL to modern framework like Vulkan or DirectX 12, reducing significant overhead and offering huge performance boost. And with users having even more powerful modern hardware, the shift toward 3D design is big story here, especially for brand marketing website. And 3JS already transitioned to WebGPU renderer while still supporting older hardware with WebGL renderer. Undoubtedly in 2026, 3JS is still the absolute standard for rendering 3D graphics in the browser. It abstracts the complexity of web rendering to let you create amazing 3D scenes or even games on website easily, and definitely worth your attention. Why am I talking about GSAP in 2026? Because last year, Webflow acquired GSAP and make it completely free for everyone. Previously, you'll need to be a paid membership in order to use it commercially, but now it's 100% free. If you don't know GSAP, there are lots of animation libraries out there, but GSAP is undoubtedly the industry leader for JavaScript animation framework. Just the scroll trigger feature, which let you trigger an animation on scroll alone, is probably the main reason most developers chose GSAP. It solves most of cross-browser inconsistencies, did the heavy lifting of all calculation, especially scroll-driven animations, and let developer focus solely on animation ideas. And as if that wasn't enough, there are also tons of plugin ecosystem that let you customize what you need without bloating the core files. If you're looking to animate a production-grade websites where performance and reliability are non-negotiable, try GSAP. So we talked a lot about stunning visual effect made by 3JS, but did you know that Theater.js is the one who helped made lots of those happen? Imagine you have a scene already set up and you want to move a 3D model along a certain path. Sure, you can hard code those coordinate directly in 3JS, but it would be very tedious. Theater.js is like a plugin editor that let you grab elements in the browser, move them around, and it will records the animation for you as a JSON file. Then you can provide it as input in 3JS. 
no more guessing and hard coding. Because of that, it pairs perfectly with 3JS to create cinematic 3D sequences where you need fine-tuned control over camera angles and timing. If you're looking for a 3JS animation editor that lets you direct your code like a movie, it's definitely Theta.js. And that's all for this video, if you love it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you.